Drake again with another science project. This one is on continental drift and Alfred somethings theory of Pangea. So his theory states that C4 spreading. Well, okay, so a divergent plate boundary is when two plates are moving apart, and so but C4 this causes C4 spreading, which means a magma thing when they spread apart, magma comes out and creates a rift. So that's C4 spreading, and this made the plates move away and create the continents. But originally, they're all put together in a supercontinent known as. Pangea. So, I'm going to. We are going to do a demonstration of this, but first, we have to watch this safety video. Lab safety is very important, but remember, you always have to have a lab coat. Wait a second, that that's a robe. That's not a lab coat, but whatever, it's fine. Now we put on some safety goggles, yes, but those are glasses, and that is also pretty confusing. But still, that is lab safety. And remember to always follow lab safety. Correct Amundo. Yes, now go do your experiments, children. Now that that safety video is over, let's get cracking. Okay class, so while we get set up, I'm going to explain to you how Alfred came up with this theory. So I will explain this to you while we get set up. Uh, I'm going to let that fill up while uh, we wait. Okay, so, um, see, he found, he, oh, wait, let's turn off. Safety. So, uh, what he did, he like he saw fossils. He found fossils, fossil patterns on different continents that were like across the world from each other. And also, coal is generally made, created in swamps. But how could they find coal up so north? Because every all the continents used to be together in the equator. We're gonna show what that looks like and how the theory works. Let's do this. Okay, so lab safety. Don't forget. So this is my model of Pangea. I, or well, I used the same idea in fifth grade doing a thing on plate tectonics. This is the Earth, and this is the lithosphere, which the plates float upon. Now, goodness, somehow. Reconstruct Pangea by putting these plates in the water. Camera, stop. Um, this is a little sloppily done because some continents are overlapping each other. Uh, but put this here. Yes. So, what we're going to do while we watch this is I will be notes. Wait. Take notes in your handy dandy notebook. Okay, you see, the diversion plan plate boundary is where two plates move from each other. So what happens, <coughs> the plates just kind of float around and it forms new continents around. See, South America, Africa, North America, all the little continents. Now, now let's see your notes. That is a poorly drawn duck on fire. Hey, hey, no. That theory clearly stated the fact of how the continents were formed. Well, class, I'll see you next time. Well, um, class, I'll see you next time. And remember, keep getting smarter, Rowan.
Now that I've educated you in science class, what do you have to say? Can't break this heart, it's liquid. It melted when I met you. <laughs> 